you're watching Samuel Goodwin on YouTube, and it's my birthday this weekend. So unfortunately, because it's my birthday, I don't have a lot of time to, to film today, but I wanted to make this video really quick just to tell you about a better, low price balisong trainer option for those of you who are looking into maybe trying this, maybe it's something curious, and you definitely didn't want to spend $100, $200 on something. So this is from Squid Industries. They call it the Squiddy. Squiddies run about $35, something like that. In Europe, the prices are kind of all over the place because it depends on who's carrying them, but you can find them for, I mean, certainly less than 100. The Squiddy is made of almost entirely plastic, except for the actual washers and screws are still metal, and the, uh, the Zen pens, they call them. They keep it from touching together when we go like this. And there's some sort of hidden screw thingies here in the back, probably for a little bit of weight. Because this is almost entirely plastic, this is even harder to confuse as any kind of knife because uh, does that look like it's gonna hurt anybody if you go like that at somebody? Is really anyone concerned? Uh, it's pretty obviously plastic and definitely not very dangerous. Like, I don't know, maybe if you poked out an eye or something, but then anything that you can do that with would get you the same effect. So what this means for you is that if you're trying to go through airports, airport security, uh, if you want to carry it on in your bag and not have to check things, this will get you past security in any country that I can think of. There might be some that, that won't, but it'll probably do. I certainly had no problem coming back with this, going through America security, going into coming into Europe. Nobody's really concerned with this. You pull this out in the airport while you're waiting for your flight. It's a little bit noisy. So maybe the people around you complain about that, but no one is gonna come and try to take this away from you because they think you're holding some kind of weapon. There are some drawbacks because it is plastic, it is way lighter than any of the trainers I've tried so far. Uh, even the cheaper trainer that I tried to begin with was not as light as this is, which you would think would be nice, but it's actually a little bit weird when you're trying to do tricks and it takes some, uh, some getting used to. If you're just starting and you're brand new, then you won't know a difference and you'll just get used to this. It just means that if you ever later switch to something that is made of metal, um, you're gonna notice that it's noticeably heavier. So for anybody who's worried about hitting themselves while they're trying to learn a trick, and maybe that's gonna hurt, because uh, it kinda does, especially if you mess up in certain ways, um, this is not gonna do that so much because this can't hit you nearly as hard. It's just pivoting on washers. I. I'm pretty sure there's no bushings in here or anything, uh, which means it's gonna have some play to it. It's plastic, There's it, it's washers, it's nothing super fancy going here. So it's gonna wiggle a little bit, but I was using this the entire time I was visiting my family and I've been using it more since I came back and I haven't had to tighten the screws, they haven't come loose on me. That, uh, that first cheap trainer I tried I was having to tighten the screws every half an hour to an hour of playing with it, that just doing anything, they would kind of work their way out and you could feel it getting looser and looser. This is a certain amount of loose just because you can only get it so tight when you're dealing with plastic, but it stays this kind of loose the whole time. I haven't had any issues with uh, it becoming any more looser so once you get used to how this feels, it, it'll stay like that for a while. And if you do have any issues, then you could just take the screws out, put some Loctite on them, and make sure that they don't move. So I would say if you are curious about battle songs and learning how to do any kind of tricks, but don't want to spend a lot of money, this is totally a good option, and even better than the previous option. Any of those uh, metal battle songs you see that cost like 20 bucks somewhere on the internet, it's probably not going to be that great and it'll be good for a day or two of trying but you will very quickly get where you wish you had something better this i think will last much longer also if you plan to travel anytime soon 
uh, we're all getting vaccinated and stuff, so in theory that's more possible, then uh, this is nice to just have with you, even if you normally do use something that's metal and fancier. They make a version of this where they replace the, the, the pivot screws and stuff with uh, titanium, but I don't know what that would do other than just like look different. So that's up to you. It definitely costs more if you do that. I don't really think it's necessary. I think just grab a squiddy. It comes in this white plastic. There's a black one, which a lot of people say is better because it's a different plastic formula. There's also a clear one, which is kind of cool, but apparently that one breaks easier. So maybe, you know, try that at your own risk. And I think recently they made a glow in the dark one, but I haven't heard anything about it. I've only tried this one. Since buying this, I've learned a few tricks. So let me see if I can show you some of the more recent tricks I've figured out. So here, if we start here, we can go like this, and then we go like this. When that's done smoothly, it feels kind of cool. Also conveniently, dropping this on the floor will probably not hurt your floor nearly as badly. That trick I did find to be easier on my metal trainer, but I think with any trick though, if you got really good at doing it with this and really smooth with this, and then you switch to something uh, made of metal, it would go really well. I think that smoothness and that really understanding the trick would transfer over and it would just be a matter of adjusting to how much force is necessary to get it to do what you want to do. So that's all for this week. Uh, stay tuned for the future where we're going to learn some more tricks. I'll share some tips if I find some things that help me figure this out any better. Maybe we'll try some new trainers in the future if I can find some that are more easily accessible here in Europe. And we'll have a, we'll have a good old time. But for now, I'm going to go get ready to uh, skate for my birthday party. And I hope you all are having a good weekend. You're drinking water. You're going outside. Go for a walk. Do something. Enjoy things while you can before things get super cold. Hopefully where you live it's not already super cold. Um, but even if it is, you know, put on a coat, go outside, do something at least, walk around, take care of yourself, and that way you can be here for next week when we're back with another video. Bye for now.